welcome back to Humble Homemaking. In today's video, I am going to be talking about the unhappy woman versus the happy woman. What is the difference? And if you do have some unhappy tendencies, what can you do to become the happy woman? Let's get into the video. How to be a happy feminine woman. The happy woman radiates joy. She's a pleasure to be around for men and women. She has a sparkle in her eyes. She is optimistic. Should the happy woman get married, she will be an amazing mother and an amazing wife who is devoted to her family and extremely understanding. Now the happy woman is not to be confused with some blissfully ignorant airhead who lets everybody walk all over her. No. She is not afraid to put her foot down and say no when she needs to. The happy woman looks to the brighter side of life, but she understands the way the real world works. The happy woman educates herself and tries to understand things from different perspectives. She understands that not all people share the same values as she does, but she is still happy. Now let's talk about the unhappy woman. The unhappy woman complains, she's harsh, she's quick to judge, she feels entitled, she loses her gentle feminine touch. The unhappy woman is not grateful and is always complaining about something no matter how good she has it in her life, no matter how many good things she has to be grateful for, she still finds something to complain about. The unhappy woman is not patient with herself and she certainly is not patient with others. The unhappy woman lacks accountability and she blames others typically men, for her feelings and problems. She lacks that good, wholesome, feminine inner beauty that the happy woman radiates. The unhappy woman confines herself to her own thoughts. She keeps herself stuck in an echo chamber of thought. She doesn't understand why people don't value the same things as she does, and because of this, she is very angry and very unhappy with the world. To radiate that genuine feminine happiness, you must learn to discipline your femininity. The definition of discipline is the activity, exercise, or a regimen that develops or improves a skill. In terms of femininity, this means that even the most feminine classy women that you see on TV or in the tabloids or on social media need to exercise their femininity so that they may radiate that genuine happiness daily. As women, femininity is something that comes naturally to us and resides in us, but our external world can greatly impact what is natural to us and what is not natural to us. By this I mean that should we allow it, society can heavily influence the way we look at ourselves and treat our femininity. So here are three things that we can do to discipline our femininity so that we may radiate that genuine happiness. The first one is accountability and acceptance. We must learn to accept ourselves as the women we are. And this is not just in terms of the way we look, but it also has to do with what we are given in life and the mistakes we make in life. We should always try to improve our skills and create healthy habits, but we must accept that from time to time, we will make mistakes. So don't just give up on cooking because you accidentally added too much salt to a meal or burnt something. Don't just give up on doing your hair altogether because you couldn't master the French braid. And do not just throw proper vocabulary and communication skills out the window because you slipped up, had an argument with your spouse or a family member, lost your composure, and dropped a few F-bombs. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. Just accept your mistakes, learn from them, and move on from them. The second thing is to appreciate the little things. Now this advice is so cliche, appreciating the little things in life. Really, because it is so cliche, and I think because so many people say it, they don't actually do it. And I really do encourage you to sit and learn to appreciate all of the little things around you in the good times and in the bad times. Learn to appreciate the noise of the coffee maker when the coffee is brewing. Appreciate the smell of the coffee. Appreciate the peaceful sight of a sleeping child or a sleeping pet. Appreciate the sight of your husband when he is thinking hard and working hard. Appreciate those mismatched dishes that you have in your cupboard. Appreciate the small things. Take this cliche advice, apply it to your life, and you will start to realize that there are so many things to be grateful for in every single moment. The third thing to practice is patience. For all of my fellow Christians watching, we must remind ourselves that it is God's timing and not our timing. We must learn to be patient and stop rushing things. <laughs> patience while your dog starts barking when you're trying to record a video. Patience that the future will be brighter when you start to doubt yourself or the world and its wicked ways. 
Patience with all the people in your life and the world around you. Patience with the tasks you need to complete. Practice patience when your child is throwing a temper tantrum like I talked about in this video. Practice patience, this was probably the hardest one, but practice patience when you're in the grocery store, waiting in line and the family in front of you wants to get something price checked and there's no manager around, so you have to sit, sit there and wait a good 10 minutes and all of your stuff is already on the conveyor belt. <laughs> That's happened. Patience truly is a virtue, so I encourage you to practice patience. To summarize, genuine happiness is a trait that feminine women should strive to achieve daily. Accept yourself with full responsibility, appreciate the little things in life, and have patience with yourself and the world around you, and know that it is God's timing and not your timing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell so that you don't miss my next video. Enjoy the, the rest of your day wherever you are in this wonderful world and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.